big show ahead. Grab your cup of tea, your cup of coffee, get settled in. I know I usually watch this show with my hair in a ponytail, no makeup on, and sweats, but... I'm a little more dressed up today. Uh, no, okay, Massimo, no, it right. stops there. Let's talk about food. Let's talk about food. <laughs> all right. So we have summertime. It's warm, it's hot. I mean, it's whatever you want it to be. Is uh, you know, well, not right now humid. because it's uh, humid. And, yeah. Uh, you want so something fresh. You, you want to stay out of the kitchen, right? Yeah. So very simple. Grab uh, some chicken breast. Boil a little bit of chicken stock. Drop the chicken breast in it. Post. Okay. Boil for like three minutes. Turn it off. Done. This is what the result of that is. In three is. minutes. In three minutes. Okay? Simple. I like this so okay? far. I like this so far. Exactly. Then what we do is we grab our crostini. And this is extremely simple. Look. A little bread, a little focaccia. We grill it. We place it in a plate. All right? And then what do we do? We will grab some tomatoes because at this time of the year, tomatoes are starting to taste delicious. Talk about those tomatoes, though. Those are yeah. heirloom, right? These they are scare heirloom, some people. Yes, they're heirloom tomatoes. They, well, I like them because I don't like tomatoes generally, okay? And I, I hate to say that, but I, I like You're tomato Italian. sauce. I know, I How know, I know. How does an Italian hate tomatoes? I know. They got that taste of that, and I, uh, you know. But I like salad, tomato salad in the summertime when, they're, the tomatoes when they're are perfect. the real flavor. Okay? A bad but tomato I like is tomatoes. a bad tomato, yes. I like tomatoes that have no seeds and no water inside. So my tomatoes have to be, have to be really dry and, uh, and not not so full of water, you know what I'm saying? I did not know that uh, an heirloom yeah. tomato had less seeds and water. Well, the, this one here is, uh, is, is a variety that you find a lot in the heirloom uh, grouping and, uh, you know, they, they have much less seeds and they have more, more dry meat, right? I mean, right. And when you're making a salad, you want it a little under, under ripen, uh, the Italian way anyway, so that's, that's what I do. Okay. But uh, in any case, a little bit of tomato, very simple, okay? And I told you, you don't have to, you don't have to cook too much today. So we have a nice red onion and these are perfect. Look at that, these red onions are to die for, look at that. Now, They're as sweet I want as they them, come, right? Yeah. That's the one that's not hot. Exactly, no. And I want them... Look at you. Yeah. Chatting and slicing. Well, I want a little bit of onion. I generally put a lot of onion because I'm a maniac. But, uh, you know, I want them in sticks like that. Massimo now, the maniac. Yeah, I know. I put a lot of onions because I really, really like it. But, you know I'm what? I you. cut it that way because if I was to cut it straight, then I would have a really bad cut. See what oh. I mean? You have the long slice over here. This is not a slice anymore. These are nice little batons of uh, onions. Okay? Yeah. That's why I do that. So let's move that on. Okay. Now we have avocado. You're all familiar with avocado? And I how do you find avocado. the perfect avocado? Uh, you have to squeeze it gently. Yeah. And if it gives and is the right color, this is a hot avocado. So it has to turn a little brown like this. Right. So, but when you squeeze it, it has to give. And inside it should be really beautifully green like that. Okay? <clears throat> so all we have to do really is, let me see. Can I ask you one more yep. avocado question? Go on. If you buy an avocado, you can't find the, the nice soft one. Right. If you buy one that's not quite ripe, yeah, have is to it true that you put it in a brown paper bag? Is, uh, that, is that a myth or is that... I, I think that uh, the, the ripening happens if you, if you wait long enough. Right. Not you in know, the refrigerator. In, in the, not in the refrigerator. Right. That's the only thing. The only thing you don't have to do is putting it in the refrigerator. So, you know, that's the, that's the idea. I, personally, I've tried either way and it, it, to me it doesn't work. I don't know. <laughs> I you will know, believe it you. No I've never what. tried it. I left it. one out and one in, in in the bag, and it doesn't happen. I saw, I heard about putting it in in flour too. I don't, what? I don't know. Like I, in your flour? Yeah, in a, just in flour, in a flour canister. Yeah, I apparently, know I don't know. But uh, I, you know what? You have to go to the supermarket. I, I like to go daily, and uh, because I'm. A maniac. I like <laughs> fresh food. Not the maniac, yes. <laughs> exactly. Look at We're going to key you that from now on. <laughs> that's it. But hey, you know what? That's how I grew up. That's how I'm um, used to. You know, even in the restaurant, I mean, we buy everything daily, so as much as we can. So we really? have a nice little... Even at the restaurant, yeah, you buy everything daily? Everything daily. At 8 o'clock in the morning. This morning, 8 o'clock, I had a truck that saw my car and just, boom, stopped there. Hey, I got to deliver. Okay, leave me alone. I got to go. <laughs> I'm not a maniac. I'm waiting for me. Yes. <laughs> Don't so, keep me waiting, no. my friend. <laughs> there you go. So because this is a salad, I'm going to put a little bit of mayonnaise. I adore mayonnaise. I know not many people do, but you know. My husband sorry. won't let me cut his sandwich with a knife that I cut my sandwich with mayonnaise on it. He won't let me use the same knife. What's wrong with him? He's, he's, he's an anti-mayo maniac. He's an anti-mayo. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Anyway, but you like it. I okay. mix it with a little bit of avocado. Oh. So that it lightens it up a little bit, and just like that, 
Okay. So just avocado and mayonnaise. Just avocado there. and mayonnaise. Right. Just so. Then I take a, a, a spoon full. I just rub it on, mm. just like so. That looks good. Yes, yeah, of course. I may. Bart won't eat it, but there'll be more for me. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll take my tomatoes it's like and a tomato avocado. And an yeah, avocado salsa? it's like a bruschetta. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, think about it. This is this is a dinner, you know. This is very rich, you know. You can picture it sitting on the patio, a nice glass exactly. of Chardonnay or a Sauvignon, or Pinot Grigio. Huh? Oh, Pinot Grigio, yes. Oh, Pinot Grigio. Or a nice Prosecco. Oh, hey, there's mm. an idea. Now, look what I'm doing now. Now we take our chicken, which I pre-sliced, and look how beautiful and, that, and that pink that is. That chicken is a little huh? bit pink. People get yes. a little scared when chicken's pink. No, because pink. this has been, no, but it's cooked all the way through. Yeah, we do, don't the we? The temperature well? inside has to be 165. So this was 165. The problem is that when you boil it, and you boil it really a lot, what happens is you, you're drying it all out, and it's not good. It toughens okay, up. Exactly. And so then you lose the color. It becomes just gray, and it's gross. So go over how you did this. Yeah. You, boiling chicken stock, you placed the, the little chicken breast exactly. in there for just three minutes, simmered exactly. it for three minutes, yeah. and then... Took it out. That's it. And then you leave it in the broth to, to cool off oh, okay. completely. Yeah. And then you All get right, the gelatin. There's the secret. Anyway, a little bit of celery. Okay. A little bit of, uh, I'll make it quick, a little bit of uh, parmigiano, mm. just uh, shredded. A little cilantro. Because we're, we're mixing everything a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a little walnuts. You know, last uh, October, I was lucky enough to be invited to go to the California Walnut Harvest. And it was amazing. Oh, that I've never great. had such a more the beautiful California experience than that. California Walnut oh, Harvest. Oh, it was fantastic. Uh, it changed my mind about walnuts because, you know, that too is one of the things I don't really like to eat too much. But since that time, I taste the walnuts in a different way and very they were healthy. fabulous. Uh, very healthy for you too. Very healthy. Very, very healthy. So, this is your dish. And what do we call okay. this? And this is a, I say it's a poached chicken breast crostino. Poached? Chicken breast. Yeah, let's you know. Do you want it for dinner? Wait. I want. Oh, a little olive oil over yeah, there. Can't go wrong with that. Good. Yeah. Well, Massimo, yeah. you've made my day because I'm totally having this. There not only go. now, <laughs> but also when I get home tonight, I'm going to make it for dinner because I can make it without the mayonnaise for husband. Oh, sure. But I can make it with the mayonnaise for me. And for yourself. Yeah. I like it. Okay, <clears> we're <throat> going to show you the recipe. You got your your pen and paper ready. Recipe recap is coming up. We're going to take a quick break. Come back with much more City Line. Thanks for sticking around with us. This looks phenomenal. This looks really